How you doing guys? I wanted to do a video based on patterns and seasonality inside your exterior cleaning business. I'm sharing this based on my own experience owning an exterior cleaning business for say five years now. And one thing I've noticed is there is four seasons, uh, four different types of demand and with inside that seasonality, there are, there are different patterns uh, to notice as well. And by identifying these different patterns, it can help you capitalize on demand peaks during that seasonality. Uh, there's, a, there's a few things that I wanted to sort of cover in this video. Uh, based on my, my own learnings, uh, the different tools that you can use to help you get uh, collect data uh, so you can understand where you're getting basically leads from and what you're getting inquiries from. And then also another thing to pay attention to is patterns outside of the weather seasonality, but like patterns inside the economy. So I'll, I'll go into this a little bit in, in the video, but I just wanted to give you an outline of what I wanted to talk about today. So it's pretty obvious that in the spring or autumn, uh, it's really great time to get the gutters, your gutters cleaned because the leaves are falling off the tree and the trees, and you know that customers are gonna be wanting those services. So what I recommend doing is planning the your year in advance for your marketing. Like what kind of marketing and distribution are you gonna be doing throughout the year to capitalize on just these seasonal changes based on the services that you're offering. Um, another thing that can really help you uh, get more data, if you haven't already got this, I would share my uh, tool, but I, I, I don't wanna expose too much information of, of my business and everything, but um, download Google Search Console. So Google Search Console, is a free tool that Google gives you if you have a website and it allows you to basically put your website into the search console and it allows you to get data on the pages that are most popular, the queries that customers are searching for to find your website. And with that information, um, it will allow you to understand over a period of time the services that are getting interest throughout the year the most. So there's like a seasonal spike. One of the things this helps, this helps, what's well, helped me do is stay calmer and composed when uh, things get a little bit slower. But it also has allowed me to know when to market services more uh, like double or triple down on, on marketing for specific services based on the information that comes from Google Search Console. So I'll give you an example. Um, if, for example, you're getting a lot of people searching for gutter cleaning and those spikes are happening around March, and October, it makes sense to double or triple or quadruple down on other paid marketing around those months if you're using, say, something like Google Search Console. The reason being is that that data is giving you an indication that people are searching for that particular service so it indicates that the market is, there is a demand for services around those months. Your Google search console for your website will give you that kind of information. And by having that information and paying attention to the seasonal changes of your business, the Google search console gives you the actual data. You paying attention to the seasonal changes is like your intuition and by having the data and using your own basically pattern recognition, you can decide when best to uh, spend more or less on various different marketing campaigns. 
but I would generally say all of this starts with creating your marketing plan for, for the year, downloading your Google Search Console, linking it up to your website, and then it gives you the data that you need to help you make better decisions. So there is a seasonal change inside an exterior cleaning business. There is the, you know, winter, spring, summer, autumn, and then back to winter again. There is a like peak and a trough in regards to the seasonality of your business. But if you can imagine, you've got the four seasons of your business, but then you also have uh, sort of layering on top of that, you've actually got like the wider globe. So you've got like the, the macro uh, economic type of uh, situation that's going on. So just as an example, these are other patterns to, uh, to pay attention to. So from a reality point of view, when people have been going shopping for the last few years, uh, we all know that the cost of food is more expensive, so infl inflation. If anybody's been getting finance or buying properties or, th or things like this, you'll also notice the interest rate has gone up. And these pressures are also changing on a cycle that is more extended, not just like a yearly cycle, these things are happening over like a four yearly cycle as well. So noticing these patterns change outside of just the seasonality of your business can also help you decide on which services are better to be marketed versus others. So I'll share with you my experience that I've had. So in the last year, I've noticed a big difference in the higher ticket services for residential clients. So I've noticed the roof cleaning has, like compared to last year, the, the amount of jobs that we've closed is, is a lot, lot lower. And I think that is because it's to do with the uh, inflation and cost of living, squeezing the retail clients. Now, what, we've, what I have noticed is the commercial work, we've been able to get more commercial, we've been getting more commercial work so these are things to consider um, and to, to pay attention to inside of your business when deciding what strategy you're, you're trying, to, trying to get. So I did a good video a, a while back, what I thought it was interesting, which was how to price your window cleaning work. And I believe that uh, based on the way that the economy is now with the cost of living being a little bit higher for everybody, uh, that having a lower average price, let's say for window cleaning overall, is better because of the cost of cost of uh, living for people right now. So people will be choosing to have uh, less frequent um, window cleaning. So for that, for, the, for some of those reasons, we've chosen to do six and twelve weekly rather than four and eight weekly. They're just other examples of paying attention to the macro, which is happening not just in a yearly cycle of the seasonality of your business, but looking at things over like a four year sort of like business cycle of things. So just as an example, uh, let's imagine this is the seasonality of your business. So we've got like the winter, we've got like spring, summer and then autumn and then it goes back into the winter. So your business basically cycles like this. So we've got the years going down the bottom. So you've got your seasonality in terms of your business and how you're operating it seasonally. But then you might have things like interest rates or other other business uh, things that are happening over the top of your business. So that's what I mean in terms of the cycle. So you've got your seasonal cycle and then you might have interest rates. So when interest rates are high, you might be focusing more on maybe commercial clients or uh, services that are a little bit more uh, preventative maintenance. So what I mean by like preventative maintenance is things like gutter cleaning and repairs. People still want to get going to want to get their gutters cleaned because 
if they have block gutters, they're probably going to have a leak. So they don't want things like that. They want to prevent damp and mold and things like that happening to their homes. Whereas when, say, interest rates are a little bit lower, they might have a little bit more disposable income and they might want to make improvements to their home. When the interest rates are lower, they might be able to get access to more funding. They might be borrowing more money, refinancing their home, getting equity release and spending money on renovating their home, having their roof cleaned, uh, all this type of stuff. So this is the point that I'm trying to make. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you're if you're brand new or you're already established as an exterior cleaner, uh, I recommend if you haven't got it already is downloading, uh, not downloading, is signing up for Google Search Console. I think you just need to have a, Google, a Gmail account for that. And then you can add your website to the search console and you know i'm not here to hold your hand but there's uh trials online showing you how to uh to, to do all that sort of stuff it's quite easy if you've got a website already you can download google search console add it and then you can look at all the data on there and hopefully that will be able to give you a little bit more of an insight into the seasonality of your uh current business um yeah hope you enjoyed that video if you're, you know, you're new and you're looking to get into exterior cleaning, but you, you know, you've got loads of 100 and 101 questions and you want to ask someone who's been in the business for many years questions about it, maybe a plan if you're new or existing. Uh, I've got a link down below where you can book a call with me and I hope you enjoyed that video. Peace.